Ladies and gentlemen, we hit the Newell Coach jackpot. Today we're hanging out with Josh at Newell Coach. How you doing today, sir? Good, Andrew. How you doing? Excellent, thank you. And even better, since you were telling me about some of the pre-owned coaches that we have to look at here today, what is going on here at Newell Coach? Well, at Newell Coach, we do have pre-owned sales here. It is a big part of our business, so we're going to show a few off today. have a plethora of different coaches we're going to show ranging from a 2013 all the way up to a 2020. Now if someone's in the market for a pre-owned Newell coach what are the advantages from buying a Newell coach from you here at the Newell coach factory? Well, I think you answered a little bit of the question right there. Within your question, we are the Newell Coach Factory, and there's a lot of advantages. We go through a very, very extensive pre-owned delivery process. Pre-owned coaches are a very important part of our bloodline. A lot of people want to test us out in the pre-owned market before they might step up to ordering a brand new one, and it's a way for them to get to know us better and us to get to know them better as well. What we specialize in is we do an extensive pre-delivery inspection, better known as a PDI. We also do preventative maintenance. It takes us about three weeks to get a coach ready. We completely de detail it out, what needs to be changed needs to be changed, what needs to be fixed needs to be fixed. The windows are fogged, we put new windows in it. The tires are over seven years old, we get new tires on it. The batteries don't pass the battery load test, new batteries. That's just an example of a number of different things that we do when getting the coach prepped. But also too, you're gonna to do a very extensive walkthrough. A lot of our delivery times take anywhere from two to three days on the pre-owned coach, because we want you to feel comfortable. And you'll be reviewing that coach and doing that demonstration with the certified Newell technician. Here at our factory, in-house I and mean, we want you to stay in the coach as well so you get to know the coach and get comfortable with it too that's those three days are very very important to your life with that motorhome so we want to make sure we kick it off right there's just a few things but probably the biggest is our two-year 24,000 mile warranty backed by us and what qualifies for a warranty if it's within eight model years of what we're currently building right now we're building 2024 models so 2016 and up we'll come with a two-year 24,000 mile warranty we have to go through a very extensive prep process because we're on the hook for two years. Unlike a lot of other manufacturers and companies, we back our warranties ourselves. We don't use a third party company. I'm looking forward to seeing some of these coaches. You're one of the most knowledgeable people I know on the Newell Coach product. And you said that there was a lot of little kind of fun facts about the differences uh, between the model years that you wanted to yes. share with us today? One of the most misunderstood model years is the 2017 model year. It was a unique year for us where it was our 50th anniversary here at Newell. So we wanted to do something special, the new P50 body style, which is what you see today. Like this P50 right behind P50 you here? P50 right here. And that came out in 2017. However, it was not quite ready to be introduced at the beginning of 2017. Our model years change every January 1st. So this January 1st, 2024, we'll be starting the 2025. So we're always a year ahead to kind of use that mind frame there. Well, it was not ready. The front and rear caps were not exactly ready where the caps meet the awnings and little details like that. So we didn't want to rush it. So we waited till midway through the 2017 model year to introduce the new P50. You have about 14 P2020 2017 models. We have one here, Coach 1565. We have a 27 17 pre P50 and a 2020 P50 right here side by side so you can tell the differences. And both of these coaches are available right now? Both are available. Everything we want to show you today is available for sale. Please reach out to us here at newellcoach.com. My name is Josh Snyder. I would love to help you out. You think we could take a look inside of some of these Please coaches? Please come on in because as we're showing them, I'm going to show you a lot on this 2017 that brings a lot of bang for the buck that has a lot of advancements that we're using today. So this is a mid-entry coach it looks like. And I got a point out this paint job. It's got a really cool pattern up there with like a carbon fiber stripe, lime green going on, really cool paint design. Before we take a look inside of this coach, what is the price of this coach? This coach right here is a little under $1.6 million, what we have listed on our website, newellcoach.com. And you mentioned the paint. I love this paint job because if you look, how often do you see a black to a lime green fade. I've never had before. Yeah, definitely very that different. really uh, makes it pop. Shows a lot of great features of it. Linda Jordan was the designer on this particular coach and she did an excellent job bringing in the carbon fiber look, the fades. And I gotta give a shout out to Jerry Allen. He used to lead our department and this is one of the coaches he painted and he led our paint department for over 20 years. Definitely a really cool paint job. Now it's very innovative. You gotta remember we were doing this back in 2016. Drop shadows really wasn't a big thing back then, but we were very ahead of the curve. 
curb. I also have to mention, we're talking about the paint, but the mechanics of these 2017 and all the coaches I'm gonna show you today all have the active steerable tag axle. Also the continuous dampening control, ZF suspension. Yes. Now, is this coach gonna have the Cummins ISX with 600 horsepower? Yes, this will have the ISX. Today we're all running the X15. This does have the ISX. It is a DEF coach as well. And what is the towing capacity on this coach? This is still 25,000 pounds, Andrews. Oh, I believe the towing capacity was 18,000 before it went to 25,000 pounds. Do you know when Newell stepped the towing capacity? Uh, from? You had options to go up starting around 2013, 2014 range. So it depends, depends on your receiver and things such as that. But I think 2016 was standard. Very cool. The, bigger, well, the class five plus hitch. We have some other really cool coaches to show everyone today, but do you think we can take a look inside? Let's take a peek inside. You know, we were talking about the fade from the lime green to the black. Look at this detail. I don't know if you can see it. It's got a black and it nicely fades into the carbon fiber. Really just very innovative, very creative. And I like that the bottom half of the coach is white. I come from the detail world and the white doesn't show dirt on the bottom half of the coach as much as the no. black. It's kind of a cool paint job from a detailer's aspect as well. So. It is. Let's check out the inside. See, this is a mid-entry coach. One of the advantages of having a mid-entry, the awning will come over the entry door and you have a nice little screen door. Let's come on in and check it out. This is a beautiful coach. What are some of the advantages of the mid-entry and why do folks choose a mid-entry? Well, let's start off with the cockpit. One of the advantages of a mid-entry is the passenger has a lot of room. Now, my feet can hit the floor, nice little space, put your footrest up, and you also have a little open window. You can open your window right here, get some nice fresh air, have a nice cup holder. It just gives you a lot more space up front. Really nice, comfortable travel for your passenger. And you're right here with the driver's seat, so you're face-to-face level with them so a lot of people enjoy the mid-entry because we offer that now the fact we can turn these chairs around and you're taking advantage of this space using your full 45 feet and one other little advantage I'm noticing is with this cool little driver's console that slides around if for some reason this is in the way you wanted to kind of tuck that up front there a little bit easier access I like this you can tuck it out of the way but also when you spin these seats around for nice comfort living this can also have like a little coffee table yeah. a little end table kind of in between the driver and passenger seat just another way of we're trying to get most space possible. One of the other big advantages I hear from a lot of people in the mid-entry, when you walk into the coach, if you walk into front entry and you have a lot of people out here watching TV, not everyone's walking in front of your TV. People really like that aspect because in the mid-entry, you're in obviously in the middle of the coach, hence the name. You go left or right, you're not walking in front of everyone. Just a couple little things I've picked up on. Another big advantage that is if you have guests that are sleeping in the coach, you're in the bedroom and you want to go get a cup of coffee in the morning, you don't have to walk by your guests. Now, does this coach have sleeping up front here? We have a couple different sleeping arrangements up front. From our high to bed sofa right here in slide one, the driver's side slide. To slide number four, we have a jackknife style on a really long sofa, and it goes into a dinette, kind of flows all in one. So you have great sleeping. That's a great point, Andrew. A lot of people may get up in the morning, a lot of people with kids. Race car drivers may have to get up and get in the garage 6.30, 7 o'clock in the morning. They don't want to wake their kids up, so they just kind of dart right through there instead of having to crawl over the kids to get out through. When we were filming a new mid-entry coach recently and you made me aware of another big advantage of the mid-entry is the privacy of the door. If you've got all of your blinds yes. closed up here, those slide rooms are kind of giving you a little bit of privacy at that door so people aren't seeing in that front door and kind of seeing into the coach. One of the best so. stories is I have as a customer, their dog likes to go out in the morning at 6.30 in the morning. They don't like taking off his pajamas to about 8.30. <laughs> so he could sit there with his cup of coffee on the stairs and had to leash and let his dog go do the business and come back in and still be in his underwear. So that was kind of funny. What it did tell me is it allows for a little bit more privacy. This is a 2017, it is a P2020, but you're getting a lot of advantages when you buy this coach. This is an Intrepid coach. All 2017 models, whether it's a P2020 or a P50, will have our Intrepid 1 system. We're running the Intrepid 2.0 now, but it all got started with the Intrepid 1 and we can't upgrade to a certain point with the Intrepid 1. This coach has that feature. A couple other neat features it has. We've already pointed out the couch, how long this is. A great seating, great. If you're doing a lot of entertaining, this is a great coach for you. You can sit a lot of people with the driver and passenger seat turning around, the high to bed sofa, and then this area here. What this table does a lot of neat little things. It will go up and down, so you can kind of make it a coffee table if you're lounging. We have a nice little coffee table right here, so that goes up. And it also extends in and out. 
So raise it up, retract for travel so you can get by whenever the slides are in and you can slide it on out. So therefore, if you have guests sitting right there, you can do it, you can, they can have plenty of leg room as well. And you also have really good, if you have some folding chairs, maybe have a poker game or something going on, a little card game, this is great for that. And this ottoman too could just get kind of slid over here yeah. too. Probably could be a seat for someone as well. well. Yeah, take yeah. advantage of everything you yes, can. Sir. And as it is an entertaining coach, you see we have a lot of different options. We did a unique sink in here. This has a little strainer in it, a couple little different options for your sink there for cooking. Good long countertop. This right here, as you can see, it does light up. This is a piece of acrylic with a nice material underneath to really highlight and show. Really makes it pop very well, which is what we're trying to do. I love the fact that Amber and Sid decorated these coats and they kind of brought the lime green from the outside into the inside of the apples. Our decor packages come with every coach. It's your option. If you want them, great. If not, we'll just simply take them out. A lot of people do that and our interior design team does an amazing job. The corner our coaches. A lot of phenomenal storage in this coach. All the way back here to the buffet before we get to the refrigerator. See nice adjustable shelves here along with really good size pull out pantry storage for pots and pans and different foods and things. As we come here you want to see the refrigerators all the way here right across from the half bath as you enter into the bedroom and we have a nice really curved beautiful half bath that flows with a door well in here and you have a nice big area. Need elbow room in that half bath in this mid-entry, very proud of it. So what we did in this particular coach, we made it a very entertaining coach. We have a lot of the space up front. So we bring the refrigerator all the way here toward the back and has an extra buffet and extra countertop space. But as we come back here to the master suite, you'll see on a mid-entry coach, we can do big slides in the bedroom. This right here is an 11 foot long slide, slide number two on the driver's rear side slide, 78 inch bed. It allowed us to put this really nice coat closet for traveling. And why do a lot of people like this? Is whenever you're going down the road, you want to have this slid in. Now we do have our beds retracted, we can shimmy around, but not everybody always wants to shimmy per se. You have a nice closet here, so you have a good clothes and coats and stuff for while you're in travel. And we even lined it with nice cedar lining like we do with our main closets in the back. Continuing, we have good drawer storage. This right here is our sheets. We do our sheets custom in-house here at Newell Coach, and every pre-owned coach will come with one set of sheets sheets and this is for your sofa bed to your master bed to your whatever bed you may have if you have bunks we have special sheets for your bunks that's made in house and all comes complimentary when you buy a pre-owned coach from Newell. here this has a bed that we normally don't do but we do offer it is a leg riser and a head riser bed it can go in a number of different positions it can massage and all that stuff we do offer this as an option not many people realize that but it is an option we do offer as we move back here back into the master we do have a washer dryer front end loader in this coach it is back here to back it's like i said we tried to get as much space in the front as possible in this build so the washer dryer is back here in the back we do have a nice caddy corner sink with good countertop space the big shower but we have another closet right here so this is our main closet so really between the bedroom closet and the master bathroom closet you have a lot of great closet space in this coach this is a 38 inch by 33 inch shower very big a lot of nozzles a lot of good space move around very easily very comfortable shower mix in with the bed and we did keep the tile backsplash going all the way through on this wall even behind the toilet this is a really cool coach but you have some other coaches you can show us we do let's go check out some other coaches lots of cool coaches on the line here i love the colors on this coach with the silver bottom another easy color to keep clean and then the blacks up top beautiful paint scheme but what's the story with this coach this is a 2016 newell coach coach number 1533 this is a show coach i give becky dwyer a shout out she's the one that designed it this coach has some historical factors here this is our first ever intrepid one coach it is a kind of a game changer for us it really helps us propel where we are today so i'd love to show it off but you are correct with the the exterior you mr detailer you notice the light colors on the bottom the gray with the dark colors on the top has that nice honeycomb imagery in it great swirls once again linda jordan have to give her a shout out on this one she was the designer on it let's go on in this is a nice front entry coach we just left the mid entry let's check out a front entry it's got some beautiful tile inlay and tile work in this coach first impressions mean everything and bam this one sets it off 
And this 2016 model, this was a show coach. And we did something pretty unique. We put the kitchen right here. A lot of people may like that because when they first walk into the coach, they feel like the big windows, feel like they have more space. Some people like having the kitchen over here. And this is for those customers. And no, we can change either way. That's what's the benefit of us building our own chassis. Well, a little bit of a split kitchen with the refrigerator yeah. on this side too. So it's tucked more to the Gives middle a little of the more coach. flow to dinette. Boom, right here with the drinks. You never know what people are really using their coaches for, and this kind of gives a little more change in ability here. It's not as quite as big as the 2017 we just saw. It takes advantage of a space very, very well. From a big buffet right here to a little coffee nook right here gives you good countertop space right beside the refrigerator and also great countertop space right beside your main galley. With this, we do have the drawers that pull all the way out. Plenty of great drawer storage in this coach. And with the underlit countertop, this is not an agate countertop top is more of a Corian countertop that lights up with a nice little drip edge right here on it. Very, very nicely done. So come here, we do have our G Vanderman microwave. And this is what I was talking about, our new Intrepid system. This is it, very, very user friendly. And with this Intrepid system, we tied it into the dash as well. You have a new dash glass cockpit that we still use today. This was the first we tried it out on and it worked very, very well and it really catapulted us. So this is a special coach to us here at Newell Coach just for that reason alone. Yeah. As we move forward in the coach, you have a nice hide of bed sofa in the front slide number one. It's a 14 foot 7 inch long slide and this is a 13 foot 9 inch long slide. In this particular coach, we have a little 32 inch TV in the front overhead so we have a main TV, your master TV per se, in your living room will be on a lift. I'm going to hit that. And with this lift, we did a desk with a TV lift kind of ensemble here and then even continued on, we have some storage back in this area and a nice desk with file drawers below and up top. If you're working on the road, this is a great coach for you. Phenomenal coach, actually, because we have all the amenities of our normal quad slide bath and a half. As you come back toward the hallway area, you'll notice you have your big sub-zero compressed air refrigerator with your ice drawer and freezer great pantry space and we tried to fit with this curve any cubby hole or storage space we could so we took advantage of this this is adjustable shelves maybe fit a cereal box or two in there some spices different stuff oils and things very well lit back there too when you look at the different motorhome cabinets not all of them have equal lighting newell does not skimp on the lighting at all and we come back you still have the pull out pantries as well your washer dryer. Now these do not recess back in because we have a nice curved wood to give us the most advantage of space that we can. So you do have your stacker washer dryer right here. Right across with your 180 degree hinges, you have your beautiful half bath. You gotta have a sink, you can play around with the countertop space. And that's what Becky did with this. She put petrified wood countertop here. Really sets it off, gives it that wow factor. You won't forget this half bath because of that. As we move back to the master bath, you can see how that ties in very, very well. So great job on Becky with this design choice. As we move back into the master suite, once again, you're going to see a nine foot, six inch long slide. What that gives us is a little bit of a, still a coat closet here, not quite as big as was in the 2017, but a little bit different because you might not need that big of a closet. Once again, we have the options for you. TV lift here with the 55 inch TV. Because we have our TV on a lift, we don't have drawers here, but we do have some storage in the corners, provide you with good storage. We do have a subwoofer back there. Great overhead storage for your direct TV receivers, speaker receivers, all that stuff is up in this area. As we move over here to the bed, the bed is a 66 by 78 inch Junior King. The reason why we call it a Junior King, let me make that clear, is a King is 72 by 80. A Queen is 60 by 80. We're 66 by 78, roughly 80. So we're halfway in between. So instead of calling it a Queen Plus, it's very common to refer to as a Junior King bed. And that's what this bed right here is. To so move over to the side, we have some additional Additional closet space you might want to hang just a few things I kind of call this the guys hanging storage we probably don't carry as much as the ladies do as you come back to the master bath area you'll see once again another 40 inch by 33 inch shower really big but we have a lot of great closet space in this area his and her closets as you enter the master bath with great dresser storage right underneath the closet and a nice little laundry hamper everybody wants to know where you put the dirty clothes have a 
space for you. We continue the petrified wood all the way here to the master bath, the maxi half bath. Looks really good with this caddy corner sink. Here you got great countertop space, so you really want your countertops to really pop, and that's what it did with this petrified wood. We did an above sink with wall mounted faucets. Very nice flow, looks very, very elegant. I guess your master closet, the his and her closet, this will be the her part, has a little bit more room, a little bit more width and space. Once again, back with our sitter plank closets. We carry the shower backsplash wall all the way through to behind the toilet. Corner the shower caddy, put your faucets right there so you have a handheld wand and some tile hangings and we even have a little foot rest for the ladies who shaved their legs. I really like how they brought this down here with that tile floor in the shower pan. Really looks very, very nice. Another neat thing we did, I did not point out in the master, is how we curved this right here to really show good flow with the coach. I thought that was really neat. This is a little bit shorter of a slide, so they wanted to get creative with it. They kind of did that to help offset and help with the flow. A lot of nice things in this coach. Very historical coach, 1533. It's on our website, newellcoach.com. Price on this coach is $1,495,000. And that does come with a two year, 24,000 mile warranty. So this is a great opportunity. So we saw 17 and 16. Do you have some other coaches you can show yes, us? Yes, we do. I don't have a 2015 right now but i do have a 2014 mid-entry i would love to show you guys yes yeah, so a 2014 mid-entry and you were saying that the mid-entry newels go all the way back to the start was that how well, that's how most coaches started in the rv industry because you had your engines in the front they were called freds front engine diesel now diesel pushers in the back so you have that option so this is a mid-entry it's a 2014 it's a beautiful coach the guy that built this coach had built a number of different coaches before this one this is one of his last ones and this coach was bought out of someone out of maryland got to the age they really didn't want to rv anymore so they called us up we put it on consignment it's a great coach they've done some upgrades to it since they bought it but it's a beautiful piece of equipment i would love to show it to you how many miles are on this coach this coach right here is 32,416 miles wow low so miles low miles this coach was driven and parked and stayed at campgrounds for a couple months and then driven back so not a lot of miles but it had some usage on it but it's a very well kept coach very clean it's a really pretty very well laid out take a look inside Is this coach is super clean. It's hard to believe that this is a 2014. Now, what is the price of this coach? The price on this coach, or price to move it, is $795,000. So 2014, so it is not within eight model years, but we will put some type of warranty on it. So to get that full two-year warranty, they've got to be it's within- It's got to be within eight model years of what we're currently building. We're currently building 2024. So it don't fall into the two-year warranty category, but just because it does not, does not mean we skip out on anything. We go through the proper PDI, the proper preventative maintenance. We do that before the coach hits the front line and we go through and inspect it again before the customer comes and picks it up. We'll also detail the coach as well. This will come with some type of a newer warranty, but it will not be a two year, 24,000 mile warranty. That's left to be negotiated. Also 2014, it's gone through the newer coach PDI process. Twice. Now, is that the same PDI process that like a 2020 pre owned yes, goes through? Yes, it gets treated like a 2020, probably even more because we do some more additional testing with it the older to coach. It takes us about three weeks to get a coach ready. So we go through a lot of details and then also our walkthrough. You'll go through a very detailed walkthrough and that's very, very important. This isn't a four hour walkthrough, slap you on your fanny, have a nice day. If you call me up, I'm gonna not be happy with you. No, we want you to understand the coach, learn the coach, but also meet everybody here at Newell. So when you do call up and you might have an issue, you know who you're talking to, you know a face with a name. That's very, very important to us. If you buy a coach, you're part of the Newell family and we wanna treat you like family and that's how family should be treated. Yeah, the company culture here at Newell Coach is second to none. Definitely worth visiting the factory in Miami if you have a chance to. And when you were mentioning that three week process, I've got to give some advice to the viewers out there because a lot of times the really sweet pre-owned coaches get sold before they ever hit the market and before we yes. ever see them. If you are a serious and qualified buyer, I recommend giving Josh a call, establishing that relationship, let him know what your budget is, let him know what you're looking for because Josh has his thumb on the pulse of the industry and you, you sell a lot of coaches that never get photographed, I'd imagine. It, it really does. We've been very high demand. Thanks to everybody watching on YouTube. Thank you very much. And thank you for the support, Andrew. Hey, I, I'm only as good as what's in front of the camera. <laughs> but we greatly appreciate it. And Andrew's been an amazing part of our story here at Newell. So we greatly appreciate him. And greatly appreciate all your viewers. But yes, that is the case. Usually by the time it hits the video, it's already sold. It all starts with a conversation. You're qualified by our very interested. Please reach out to us because you might not know what's 
what's coming down the line. It might not make our website yet. We don't even have time to get pictures of it. A lot of stuff's coming in as we're 18 months built out. In that 18 months, we do have trades, but we can't start advertising those trades on their website because they're not here yet, but we can notify customers about them. So please stay in touch with us. Yeah, this coach being under 800,000, this is probably one of the least expensive coaches that someone's gonna find here. Most definitely, yes. Yeah, definitely. Yes, sir. It's a lot of bang for the buck you have in this coach. This coach was very well taken care of. The owner just put a brand new couch in it. That is a new couch, less than a year old. They upgraded some fabrics throughout here and he really just did a good job of updating the coach. We also put four new roof airs on it just recently as a part of the update. And the coach is not even bought yet, but we're already getting the coach prepared and ready for you because we want to present it at this showroom ready. This is a 14, so does this have the continuous dampening control and the updated dash? It has a digital dash. It does not have the Intrepid dash. So it does have a silver leaf dash. This coach does not have the iPads in it, but it is a silver leaf coach. We've been running silver leaf for the majority of our time up until we started the Intrepid. So this is a 2014 and we we're talking about how that was kind of an option to go from the 18 to the 25,000 pound towing capacity. What's the towing capacity on this This coach? is 25,000 pounds so it does have the class 5 plus hitch. That's what you're looking for the class 5 plus hitch. Three inch from corner to corner. If you're looking at coaches you're on the lot somewhere and you have your tape measure on or kind of looking see that's little things you can pick up with sight and that's one of the ways you can pick up the class 5 plus hitch has the three inch hole. That's a big advantage if someone's looking for that 25,000 pound towing capacity under $800,000 in a class A. It's a rare opportunity here. You want to show us around the coach a little more? What's going on? Yeah, this is a mid-entry coach. We've been talking a little bit about mid-entries. Once again, we do have the kitchen on this side, unlike the coach we just saw. Great storage throughout with four big doors. A little bit more drawers in this one, a little smaller drawers, but they are really deep. As you can kind of tell, the countertop bends around. So it was, it gives us more depth here. This little kick out. And then they raised the slide bearing cover. Yes, sir. So to continue the countertop space, notice the time you see your sinks right here. This sinks over here to kind of give you more consistent countertop space over there. So if you're cooking, easy to clean with your dishwasher. So you can tell the person that built this coach likes to do a lot of cooking. That's how they like their operation. So that's kind of neat. You get to take advantage of that. Person has built a lot of coaches. They come up with little nicks of the trade. And this is a good example of that. As we move back here, this is mid-entry. So we have more of a squared off hallway. Instead of rounding, they wanted to bring this back flush against this wall. So we have our refrigerator right next to the galley, right across from your half bath. And your half bath in this particular one, this wall's pushed back into the bedroom a little bit more to give you more space and put the sink in the front. A lot of times if you see the back and the aft part of the half bath, it's pushed back into the bedroom. So you probably have a little bit smaller of a bedroom slide, slide number three across from the bed, but it gives you advantage of having a little bit bigger of a half bath. Take advantage of every space we can. And you have great pantry space with adjustable shelves, pull out pantry, along with a combo washer dryer. Now, this is washer dryer prep. It is, so if you want to go to a stacker, it can be a stacker, but a lot of people enjoy the combo space saver washer dryer all in one. Well, I've heard it's nice. You're out traveling, you put a load of laundry in there, it washes and dries them all in one shot so you don't have to worry about switching it to the washer and dryer. And you can't fit as much in there, but you can fit a good bit. As you come back through, I was talking about the half bath being pushed a little bit back, so that didn't allow us to put the big coat closet right here to have the big window. So what they did with this particular one they put a little bit bigger of a coat closet on this side right across very compensates itself very very well and gives you a very balanced floor plan especially back here in a master suite with trying to capitalize on as much closet space as possible you'll notice that we have a nice little vanity there for the ladies put their makeup right here by the big window nice little pull out drawer and we do have a tv lift with a 55 inch led tv because of that we do have a little additional storage space right there as well kind of tell you got very creative with this slide really a huge window that's the selling point of this back bedroom is how big this window is in this area it's a little bit longer than our normal standard size master bedroom windows so you come on back you do once again have a 66 by 78 inch junior king bed so you come back here we're going to notice that we have a little bit smaller of a shower this is more of our standard shower it's 33 by 33 square it off but we have a lot of big space up front so we only have 45 feet to play with you got to take it away from elsewhere. So they did take it away from the master bath, but they did a very good job using the space. We still have a 
closet as you walk in right to your right with three drawers, a huge caddy corner countertop space, which was really big from about 2012 to about 2018. You saw a lot of the caddy corner sinks. All the way back here to the master closet, and this is gonna be your bigger closet, mixed with what all you have in the two closet spaces and this, you do have great closet space in this coach. A little bit smaller of a shower, but very useful shower. Even though it's a smaller shower, you can see I still have plenty of room, me being a bigger guy, no problem. Plenty of height, plenty of elbow room and space. No problem be able to take a nice relaxing shower. Josh, I know you're very busy and you gotta get going, but I wanna talk about one other coach that I saw on the line here. We had a chance to film recently a 2020 with a beautiful interior, 1686. Is that coach available? That coach is available and that will come with the two year, 24,000 mile warranty. We have it online right now for 1,795,000. It's a beautiful piece of equipment. We did a great video on it. Talked a lot about the guy that built it. It's a mid-entry coach, very updated, very yacht-like interior. Definitely. Beautiful woods. It's a beautiful layout. Very, very proud of what the owner built. In fact, the reason why we do have it, because he built coach 1786. So something about 86 and this guy, but he's very experienced, new builder, and whoever decides to take that coach will have a phenomenal coach. Absolutely. Now, if someone's a serious and qualified buyer and they want to purchase just one of the coaches that's in the Newell Coach inventory here or keep an eye on incoming coaches, who can they get a hold of? Please get a hold of me. My name is Josh Snyder. You can contact me at 918-542-3344. My extension is 201. Shoot me an email at joshs at newellcoach.com or just check us out on our website at www.newellcoach.com. Awesome, Josh. I greatly appreciate you and the team at Newell. I also greatly appreciate all of you out there subscribing to the channel and liking these videos. We hope you're all having a great day. Thanks again. Safe travels.